it's, it's, it's both personal and, and professional in the fact that, you know, having someone like yourself, John, be in the organization, I don't even really know which we are, a programmer or something, doing something, <laughs> something or other, I don't, but yeah. all of a sudden I had a champion for my process improvement that was more than a champion, he was an executive, he was able to, to inspire other people to, to drive the change control board from an idea to an actual reality and to process the kind of volume we process. So, so the surprise for me was that that person was in my organization, was already a believer, was already training him or herself on on it. They're probably in other organizations. They're probably more in my organization I don't know about. Maybe watching this video right now. Maybe one of you out there will see this video and say, I want to do that because it is it is fun. It is where the world is going. Um, technology, I mean, and I don't to digress because I'm old and I can do that, <laughs> is I've been doing this for about 30 years and it went from manufacturing information systems to management information systems to information systems and most people moved on to information technology, mm -hmm. focused on technology, and I truly believe that most IS organizations now are moving into information services. So we can keep our initials and we can still be IS, but we'll move from information systems to information services because service is where, is where it needs to be. The sure. whole world has gone to a service-based economy. We need to move to a service-based IS organization. We already are. We just need to behave like one.